President Trump making his case for Ryan Care on social media. The president tweeted this. Obamacare is imploding. It is a disaster, and 2017 will be the worst year yet by far. Republicans will come together and save the day. The president also tweeted this. If Obamacare is so great, why did they spend tens of millions of taxpayer dollars to hype it? Bad. The president linking to an article showing the Obama administration spent $77 million to not just hype, but to market Obamacare over the past year. $77 million. Can or you by imagine? The way, Joining me now and matching <laughs> that voice with a face to discuss the Congressional Budget Office report on Ryan Care, Betsy McCoy, senior fellow at the London Center for Policy Research and columnist for the New York Post, and you could not contain yourself. That's You're right, so because if it's so good, why do they have to force people to buy it? Why does there have to be a penalty? Uh, and a mandate. And it, well, That's it's right. just a tax. We shouldn't say it that way. Chief Justice Roberts educated us better than that about what it is. Good to have you here. Thank you. That document politically is a, is a suicide note, in my opinion, for yes. the Republican majority in the House and for other Republicans, including the president, uh, who have to deal with it now because of the inept uh, talent that was put to bear on that. But it has the seeds of success in it. In the CBO report, there are a couple of very interesting things. One is a special fund, I won't name the number, <laughs> the section number, but a special fund in this that will substantially reduce premiums. Yeah. And what they should do is beef up that fund and eliminate okay. the subsidies entirely. You're already entirely. dealing with a document that we don't have. That's already right. dealing with a first of three stages or prongs. No, as, I'm just saying when me, it gets to the Senate. Three prongs, as Speaker Ryan said. Right. Uh, this, this is, if the, the bill president has to stand were to take phone. this up, you really believe that the, the majority could survive this? Well, first of all... I mean, let's be honest yes, here, because I this do. audience expects honesty. Yes, and I'll tell you, first and foremost, this bill to repeal Obamacare is a jobs bill. The CBO doesn't say one word in its report, which you and I both read this afternoon, okay. about the impact of this repeal mm -hmm. on employment. But the fact is, employers faced with that expensive employer mandate push so many of their workers, demoted them okay, to part-time I mean, status, you could, look, you declined to hire. But this is the Congressional Budget Office. That's okay? right. It's not a conjuring act any more than what, no. if, whatever you take these they figures They only for. report what they're but asked to it, report. But why in the world would Ryan not have waited a week so he could address these things in committee, in ways and means, in energy and commerce? Why mm -hmm. in the world would you not wait? I agree. Knowing what you would get. I agree that they should have waited. And in addition, so what they should they have requested now, the CBO what do they do now? to assess the impact of this bill oh. on jobs. Look, you, you've right now got a reality. You've got a president who needs this bill or uh, an effective bill, bill like it. Yeah. Uh, uh, he needs tax reform. <laughs> he needs an agenda. And right now, Ryan has hijacked the entire process and has done so with a loser piece of legislation like this. We can't get to tax reform to we can't pass, get to tax reform. repeal oh, of you Obamacare. Could. You could. You actually could. But this they've is a scheduled mantra. it this way, yeah, unfortunately. Okay. So I'd like we, to see tax reform first, even well, though I hate Obamacare. Well, everybody but, hates it, but you know what the we're fact coming is, back to here, Betsy, is the President of the United States is exactly right. Let Obamacare take everybody to hell and be done with it and leave it as the no, Obama. No, he's no, too no, good let, an no, American no, listen, to do that. Oh, please, I'm just talking hypothetically okay. here. You don't have to defend Donald Trump to me, <laughs> all right? Uh, right? Secondly, yes. uh, th let the uh, Democratic uh, uh, Party figure out what they're going to do, because every delay should be, a, uh, frankly, around the necks of the Democratic Party. Absolutely. And the, De and the Republican leadership in the House and the Senate aren't smart enough to play the game. Uh, right now, we're looking at a mess. Right, but I believe that the White House is going to take a stronger role now. They have to. They have no the choice. They thought that, you know, they, say, humored, they humored Paul Ryan and his acolytes, right. and they, he's delivered this They nonsense. can deliver a, a really good bill that will not leave 14 million people uninsured because it will reform Medicaid differently. It will eliminate the subsidies and instead pay the direct costs of yeah. very sick people in the individual market. The president has said premiums will go down. The president has said the cost will be less. That's right. The president has said every American will be covered. This piece of junk 
won't accomplish a single thing that the president has promised the American people. And only Paul Ryan would have the effrontery, the arrogance, and the incompetence to put a bill like that in front of the president in which he has to violate his promises on three levels. But he is the art of the deal. He no, is the art of the deal, and I'm I not believe arguing that he that. can take He's got to overcome That's this right. kind of idiocy in the leadership of the House of Representatives and the Republican Party. I, I mean, come on. The seeds of success are in this bill, in the section of this bill that pays directly for the costs of the sickest, allowing premiums to come down in the individual market for the healthy. He can offer the conservatives a beefed up stabilization fund and no subsidies, and they will sign on and ram this thing through both houses. I guarantee you that's the way to succeed. I hope they're listening because we can make this I hope work. Tom Price is listening. Yes. Uh, I really do. I, I, I hope that, the, uh, that Mick Mulvaney is listening, and I hope that Speaker Ryan is listening because any more, con any more of his nonsense, I, it is going to cost the Republican Party dearly. If, if he still cares about the party, I don't know the answer to that question, obviously. Betsy McCoy, I do know this. You know your stuff, and it's always great to have you. Thank view. you. Thanks so Love much. Love being Betsy here. Betsy McCoy.